Picture says, ready, ball. You swing on ball. Ready, ball. So it's all about timing. The excitement when you hit the ball and you make it to first or third base before the defense pick up the ball. And that's when you get that rush. The rush of beat baseball, just like any other sport except the players on the field are either visually impaired or blind. The beeping sound directs the outfielders to the ball once it's hit and believe it or not, the Tyler Tigers make it look easy. The team just returned from the 2012 Beat Baseball World Series in Ames, Iowa, where the Tigers com competed against seven teams throughout the world. Imagine the challenge of swinging a bat and actually hitting the ball. Forget the sweet spot, just hitting it at all. Do you see how difficult it is to just see me right now? What if you couldn't see me at all? Them. They step up to the plate, no fear, and play their hearts out every at bat. The Tigers practice at Moore Middle School in Tyler. They compete in the World Series every year, and it's always held in a different location. The team finished 16th overall a couple of weeks ago, but it's not about winning a trophy. It's about what this game gives to its players. Coming from a family of athletic brothers and parents, being visually impaired, always the last one chosen to be on a team. It gave me the opportunity to be on a team where my eyesight didn't matter. This gives us an opportunity to play in a competitive sport, to continue to play, which normally we might not be allowed to play or we might not be able to play, but in this we are even. Uh, we got teams from across the world, you know, like Taiwan, uh, they're, they're the world champs. They actually won it this year, and so it, it's definitely competitive. October 13th, the Tyler Tigers will join forces with local breast cancer supporters to bring a blind awareness and breast cancer awareness to a full front. They've invited beat baseball teams throughout the Lone Star State to join them for a day of baseball at John Tyler's football field. Be sure to mark your calendars.